What's up y'all? For a while I've been wanting to do a Ranger walk around, um, just a walk around of the entire build that I have going on here. Um, kind of talk about how I use it for overlanding, how I use it for my daily life, and just how it kind of uh, works for my lifestyle. So yeah, I thought it'd be kind of cool. I've owned it for about a year now and uh, put about 17,000 miles on it, which is a lot kind of for a year. But uh, Definitely been using this truck uh, to its fullest capabilities and it has been quite the fun truck. So I took some notes, just kind of going to go through these. First thing I want to mention is that before I even picked up the Ranger, I had a build list going on, um, kind of already knew what I wanted to do to the truck. Um, had a really good idea in my head of how I wanted to build it out, um, how it was going to work for my lifestyle. and so. Um, that was actually really helpful. So I went through and did a lot of research um, after I decided on this as a platform I wanted to build on and found all the different parts that I wanted for it. Um, whether that was the drawers I could do for it, whether there was a topper, um, different stuff like that, the suspension, all these different things. I, uh, I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted for the truck. And I think also another thing I wanted to mention was that I learned a lot from the FJ Cruiser, um, having that vehicle. So when I got this truck, my idea in my head was that I wanted to be um, functional, I wanted it to be simple, and I wanted it to be capable. Those are like the three things that I was really focusing on. And so when I honed in on those things, those aren't things that I really focused on at all with the FJ. Um, with the FJ Cruiser, I kind of just threw everything at it. I was going to be doing the Rim Rocker Trail, which is like a 160 mile off-road trail from uh, Montrose, Colorado to Moab. And um, so I just kind of threw everything at it and I was like, oh my gosh, I need everything. So I went and got a new rack, I got new uh, bumpers, um, got a winch, all this stuff. And I think I learned a lot from that because um, a lot of that stuff was just a lot of things I didn't need. Um, I could have done without for sure. So like I said, this thing, whenever I bought it, um, whenever I was building this out, I knew I wanted it to be a simple truck. I wanted it to fit my lifestyle well, be functional, um, but also be still really capable and comfortable. So yeah, those are just things I took into account before I started building this vehicle out. Why don't we go ahead and talk about the suspension. Um, the suspension on the truck, this is a Ford Ranger trimmer, um, Larry edition, but the reason I wanted to get the trimmer was because of the suspension. That was a big reason why. Um, Ford did a really good job of engineering this truck to maintain um, its payload, its towing, while still having a really aggressive suspension and a capable suspension. Um, so what it's got, it's got Fox all around. Um, in the back, they are remote reservoir shocks. In the front, I can't tell you exactly what kind of shocks they are, but they're Fox shocks, um, and they are really, really nice um, shocks. They're really, it's a really nice suspension package. Um, I drive a lot of roads like you see out here. Um, I do a lot of um, washboard roads, which is the main thing I was wanting them for, and it's been doing really well on the washboards. And it also is still really responsive on, you know. Um, just regular day-to-day -day driving on pavement. So I've so far really liked the suspension. Um, the only thing I've done to change it is I wanted to look, I wanted to lift it a little bit. When I first got it, the truck was kind of like this. Um, I think that's how they like the Rangers set up. I personally don't like that look. So I went and I leveled it out and I got, I believe a two inch spacer in the front. And then I, in the back, I got new leaf springs from Icon and I, I think those were a one inch lift or a two inch lift from Icon. And then I got a one inch block in the back. Um, and that's all I've done to it. And I haven't noticed any impact in my suspension whatsoever. I thought maybe I would see um, a little bit of an impact or a little bit of a negative um, impact from doing that, but I honestly have not noticed anything. Um, and I needed to raise the back a little bit higher because of the weight that I have back here. I have these boxes are full or just these drawers are full of stuff. 
tools and recovery gear. Um, so it's been really nice to have those leaf springs and um, the truck is now sitting pretty level and uh, I really like the way it looks. And one thing to note, I was going to do um, airbags in the back actually. I almost got talked into it by some guy at a shop. Um, I decided not to do that because I did a little bit more research and learned that, um, depending on how you, how you set it up, but that they could, um, they could limit the um, articulation on the back of the truck. And that's the last thing I wanted. I need as much articulation as I can get. So I decided not to do that. I really like the leaf springs. They're working really well. So yeah, that kind of wraps up the suspension on the truck. Um, I guess while we're talking about suspension though, we'll talk about the tires. The tires are the same tires that came with the truck. Um, these are the 32 inch General Grabber ATX. And these are really good tires, honestly. I've been driving them um, through a lot of snow lately. You can see out here, I'm out here in the snow and there's some deep snow on the way out here. You'll see some footage of that. But these tires have been perfect tires for me. They're 32 inch tires. Um, eventually I do want to upgrade those to a bigger tire, but I decided to go ahead and keep that um, and not upgrade my tire package right away because I basically wanted to get the use out of the tires that I paid for with the truck. Um, so yeah, 32 inch tires, general grabbers, and they've been really um, great tires for me. So those are the tires. And then the tires are wrapped around see, 17 inch, um, 15, 52 Traverse HD bronze wheels. Um, I decided to go with those wheels because they're a little wider than the factory ones. So I like the stance that they have on the truck. And also they just look better in my opinion. Um, I like the bronze look with a little bit of black and it kind of sets the truck apart a little bit more than looking like, you know, just a truck straight out of the factory. Um, so yeah, I was able to actually sell those old factory wheels that came with the truck to some guy that just bought a Bronco. Um, so that was awesome. And I used that money to put towards these new wheels and these wheels have been awesome. Um, they're very light, they're aluminum wheels. So they have lightened the load that I have around the truck. And um, also, I just think they look cool. So yeah, let's see what else we did. Another thing I did was, and this is a simple thing, but if you can see here, there's a damper here. Um, this tailgate, super annoying from Ford. I don't know why they do this. I think they did it on the new Ranger too, but they don't put a damper on these tailgates. And my buddy has a Ranger as well. And every time I open his Ranger, I just drop the tailgate because it's you're just not ready for it. All that to say, I went ahead and I bought this 30 something dollar damper. And you can see it works really well. And that's it. And that's been a super easy, quick, whatever fix. And uh, if you want to get that, that's a DZ. I think it's, yeah, I think it's called DZ. And it's just a little strut that you put right there. and. There you go, you have a damped tailgate. Let's talk about storage. That is huge. So storage for me is huge because I have these two giant dogs, as you've seen them many times in the videos. And usually my fiance is with me when we're doing trips. And so storage has become like a premium thing that we need. Um, so the dogs have this whole back area dedicated to them, pretty much this whole platform. And I went and I was, Really close to buying the deck system. Um, it's like a drawer system you can install. It's pretty sweet. But one problem with that one is that it's taller than this. It's like up here. And that leaves very little room for my dogs. And then also, you, it's really expensive. And um, I kind of like the idea of actually building out my own drawers. So I actually used the wood from my FJ that I had a little drawer in the back of it, or a little table I had on the back of the FJ. And I built out this drawer system. And this has been really great. Um, you can see I have little things on it. I was able to put it at the exact height I wanted it so I can have the dogs and they have plenty of room. So I have these Sidio cases and I wanted these to fit in there. I have long objects right here. Oh man, it's heavy when you're downhill. And this one has a lot of my camping chairs. At the time I had the time I had a rooftop tent, so I had the ladder inside there as well. And that's actually what I built this to fit. And I don't need it anymore, but it was actually pretty nice to have that. Now I have the stove, I have um, some recovery gear, and I have my chair and stool and stuff in here. So another part of storage that I want to mention was the up top. I have a Thule, what is that Thule called? I think it's called like the Thule XT. It is a very long box. It's about seven feet long by, I want to say three feet wide by about two feet tall. Yeah, that's about right. And 
that box has been a game changer because I'm just able to put so much stuff up there. And it's, it's useful for so many different things. Like, for instance, right now, it, we're going snowboarding and skiing a lot. Um, I'm able to put up to like five skis and, and snowboards um, inside of that box. So it's really great for that. Um, and then when it's not ski season, um, I use it for camping for everything. We put the mattress we have. We have the cots up there. We have the – use a gazelle, which is a huge long tent. It's about – a uh, 10 foot by 10 foot wide footprint that fits up there. Um, so all that stuff fits up there. So whenever we do these trips, I'm able to put half the big stuff up there and then half in the back seat and we are just set. So the Thule and the drawer system are my like main storage um, systems, I guess you would say. And those have been game changers. Um, yeah, so that covers that. And then you can see it kind of built out this over here. I got these mounts from Front Runner, and I I rigged something. I couldn't even tell you what I did exactly, but I rigged something basically. I got two clamps and I clamped them and did all kinds of zip tie and duct tape stuff, and I made it stick to the side here. And it's really well well put on there. And I just have two of these on there to, to hold it, and that holds my Max Tracks inside, which I like having them inside so people can't steal them, and also it keeps them out of the sun. Um, Second thing would be the shovel one I made over here. So you can see those are just the quick fist straps. Shovel and max tracks, I think, are very important to have, especially when you're out here doing stuff in the snow. I got stuck really bad last week, and having this was, I would have I been stuck for the entire night if it wasn't for this. So, shovel, that's mounted. Some other thing I rigged up, um, but basically it's mounted to the side of the truck. Um, another thing I've done is I've put two little eye bolts here and here. And I'm, whenever I go on trips or whatever, I put my baby propane tank right here. And I just put a strap around it or a bungee cord around it. And that holds it really well right in that spot. I also added these here. So I usually put like a cooler or something right here. And the dogs have all that room. And the cooler stays right here. So yeah, that's how I got it set up in the back. Um... Another thing to note is that this topper, which I love, comes with this awesome table. This is an aluminum table. It's extremely sturdy, heavy duty, oh, and it does not move inside of here. So I always have a table on hand, which is actually extremely important to me. I'm just always having this place to put my stuff up. I'm doing photography a lot of times or launching my drone. I like to have a table, a stable platform, and also just, it's just great to have a table to put your stuff on. Another thing I have up top is the rhino rack, um, ski rack. It's just a little ski rack. It fits about two skis or one snowboard, but I use it actually more than anything for the fishing pole. Whenever I go on trips, I usually take my fishing poles and I like to keep them rigged. And so there's a hook loose in there and you don't want that inside the back of the truck. You don't want that inside anywhere um, that can get somebody. So being able to put it up there quickly and just lock it up and no one can get to it is awesome. And I use that thing all the time whenever it's summer and I'm fishing a lot. So yeah, I actually don't use that really much for snowboarding or skis. I use it for fishing poles. Let's talk about capability of this truck. Um, I'll show some clips, but this truck has been, been meets more than enough of my needs for an off-road vehicle. Again, um, I know that there's better, more capable <laughs> off-road vehicles out there, like the ZR2 um, and the uh, Rubicon can do, you know, pretty much anything because they have front and dual, front and back lockers. Um, but this truck has, so far, anything I've thrown it is done without a problem. Um, again, I don't do any crazy rock crawling or off-roading unless it's me trying to get to a place. Um, but so far, everything I've thrown at this truck, it is done, no problem. And I've done a lot of trails on the FJ, and this has done everything the FJ has done. And the FJ had bigger tires, it had a bigger suspension, all that stuff. Um, and this has done fine. So I'm really happy with the capability of this truck. Outside of that, this thing has some power. Um, and I haven't even done a tune-up to it yet, so I'm looking at hopefully in a year or two to do the tuning to it. It's like $1,000, and you can really get this thing to go quick. Um, you also got to put premium fuel in, which I don't, I don't want to do that. But anyway, maybe when gas prices go down, I'll do the tune on this thing. But even 
from the factory, this thing has some power. Um, and it is really fun to drive. Um, once that turbo kicks in, you can really feel it. And even though it's a four cylinder, this thing gets up and goes. This truck comes with um, lockers in the back, no locker in the front. Um, from what I've noticed, I can do most trails um, just fine with lockers in the back. Of course, having front lockers would be awesome, but I don't seem to need them really much. And um, yeah, so it has four low. It has all these trail modes that I can use as well. I rarely use the trail modes. Um, but it does have some cool trail modes you can use. It has the crawl control kind of feature, um, all that stuff. And so it's a really capable truck out of the factory. And when you put some big tires on it um, and you get it lifted a little bit, it can pretty much do all the trails out here. Um, or I would say it can do a majority of the trails out here. There's definitely some trails I wouldn't take this on. Another thing was the sleep, the sleep camp setup I have for this. Easy Lift Nomad is a tent setup that I have. And what that is, is basically this um, canvas tent material that mounts right here um, through Velcro. There's carpet up here. And then also down here, there's Velcro. And it, so you put it here and here, you zip it together. And then I put a front runner wolf box, wolf pack box or whatever right here. And I'm able to lay out here comfortably, um, which is with just a sleeping pad. And so that's how I sleep in the truck whenever I'm doing like little overland trips or just a uh, Trips where I don't, I don't know for sure what the campsite's going to look like. That's the main reason why you want to have a setup where you don't have to have a ground tent. Um, because there's been a lot of times where I show up to places and there's no level ground whatsoever. And I cannot sleep comfortably at all if I'm not on level ground. Um, I'll just end up in the bottom of the tent or whatever. So being able to have a spot where I can just go out. I don't really know what I'm going to be getting myself into. And know that I could set up the truck, just put it on rocks or put it on whatever and level it out and sleep you know, comfortably in the back is awesome. Also, it does feel, and it might be silly, but it just feels safer when you're out by yourself. Um, being inside the back of the truck, I'm able to you know, have all these things shut. And so if anything comes to the truck, it's gonna be coming through this side, like animals or whatever. Um, so it just feels safer being off the ground and in the back of the truck. Um, yeah.